Hey guys, Joe here and welcome to my channel, Not So Average Joe. So I'm going to be reacting now to the official trailer for Avengers Endgame, the official trailer 2 that is. And yeah, this hopefully is like a full trailer now with all the action in there as well. The previous trailer was more, more of an emotional teaser trailer in a way where all the Avengers, all the characters that survived were just coping with the aftermath of what happened at the end of Infinity Wars. So we're just going to get straight into this and um, I'll do a short discussion afterwards. Let's go. Ooh. God, it seems like a thousand years ago. Oh. I fought my way out of that cave. Crash landed. Became Iron Man. Realized I loved you. I know I said no more surprises, but I was really hoping to pull off one last one. The world has changed. None of us can go back. All we can do is our best. And sometimes the best that we can do is to start over. Showing all the paths. I saw all these people die. I keep telling everybody they should move on. Some do, but not us. Even if there's a small yeah. chance, we owe this to everyone who's not in this room to try. We will. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. New Avengers. Is Captain Marvel. I like this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's typical Marvel humor in there as well, just at the end. Okay, so what can I say about this trailer? Again, it was almost a bit like a teaser trailer, so it didn't give barely anything away, and I used a lot of clips from the previous one along with additional stuff. So the first trailer was more, you know, the emotional impact of after half the population disappeared. And this one is more. Right, we need to get back on our feet again and we need to fight back. So I'm guessing the third trailer is going to be the flat out action trailer um, of what's going to be happening once they start fighting back. That's my presumption there for the third trailer. Um, but interesting, I mean, we've already, we already knew which characters pretty much had survived from the previous trailer um, and from the end of Endgame. End of Endgame? End of Infinity Wars. Um, However, we know Tony Stark's wife is still alive from this one. We didn't get that in the last one. Pretty much everyone else we already knew. It was nice to see them towards the end all wearing the same the same outfit, effectively. So they were all dressed the same, which indicates that they're the new Avengers. Um, so you've got the original Avengers there with Rocket, Nebula and Ant-Man. And they're obviously going to fight back along with Captain Marvel. Um, it's interesting. It begins with um, Tony Stark on this planet, almost very much like... I don't know, very Star Wars in a way. Um, so he's obviously crash landed or something. Um, and it's interesting and it's, it's all about the dialogue. is all about wanting to fight back. The colour palette is amazing for you know most of the film. You know, you've got the black and white saturated with the elements of red and colour. It's like black and white with red quite a lot is used in this trailer. And that was really nice. It looked really good. Um, sort of very much Logan. They're obviously trying to create a more mature a more mature looking marvel film in a way um and they were talking a lot about the past you know we cannot delve in the past we and it's showing clips of the various different characters 
as they were in the past, sort of their origins before they really became who they were as part of the Avengers, etc. And I really did quite like that dialogue. It was all about them having to come to terms with their losses, coming to terms with what has just happened and having to not delve in the past and forget about what's just happened and try to defeat what's coming in the future and what's what's there right now and to defend who you have left. So I, I quite like that element of the trailer and it's really interesting. I mean, like I said, there's nothing really much new that we saw about it, about this trailer. Um, Hawkeye with a, a mohawk. Well, you know, it's in the name. It had to be there. Um, interesting. And Scarlett Johansson obviously goes after him, which is the character I expected to go after him to try and get him to join part of the team. So Hawkeye is obviously part of the new Avengers as well. And yeah, giving absolutely no plot points away at all. So um, I still expect all the characters to come back um, at the end, which is a shame. I hope they don't bring back the people that actually died before he clicked his fingers. So Gamora, in theory, should stay dead, uh, as should Loki and maybe a couple of others. They shouldn't bring... I expect them to fully bring back all the rest of the cast, all the rest of the Marvel cast, because... I mean, I can't imagine they're going to get rid of Spider-Man permanently and among various other characters, uh, including all of the Guardians of the Galaxy other than Rocket. And obviously it's got something to do with the Time Stone. They're going to reverse time, bring them back that way. Um, we still don't know how Ant-Man manages to get out of the quantum realm. It's quite interesting to try and work out how it happens. Maybe Captain Marvel has something to do with it. I don't know. But how else is he going to get out, really, when the people that are actually in charge of the machine have all turned to dust? Don't know. And the colour padding, the lighting, the slow pans, uh, the way it's filmed, doing a lot of teasing again for when it comes out in a month's time and for the third and final trailer, which I'm sure will be the fully action-packed one. Although there is a little bit of action there. You see Ant-Man fighting. You see Nebula about to attack. You don't know who she's about to attack. I presume... It is going to be Thanos, but it could be anyone for all we know. So, yeah, it should be really interesting. And if anyone should kill Thanos, it should be Nebula, really. I mean, she has everything to kill him for. She has everything to lose. And she has lost everything, including most of her body parts at the end of the day. It should be her to kill him. Or Gamora, if they decide to bring her back to life, which I hope they don't. Um, it'd be interesting if we see more Red Skull as well, because we saw Red Skull in Infinity War. I reckon it's just a cameo. We're just going to see Red Skull because he's just protecting the Soul Stone. But now he doesn't have the Soul Stone anymore. What is he protecting? Does he need to be there anymore? He can come back into the game. I don't know. As a as a villain, possibly. We'll have to see. But I don't know. It's um, it's open game. Game on, you know. It, anything could happen. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my reaction. It wasn't much of one. But, um, you know, the third trailer should hopefully remedy that. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe and join me on Instagram and yeah, join me for my next video and which I don't know what that will be, but I'm sure it'll be something good. I'll see you then.